What's up everybody, it's Chu Flocka back at it again with another Madden YouTube video. Today we're going to be hopping into another gameplay. I'm actually super excited for this one. I don't, I don't know, last time we did a Clyde gameplay on his Rising Star, he played very, very good for us. He snuck through all those little holes. You guys could tell it was Clyde from the thumbnail, but I am super excited about this one. I think he's going to be a great gameplay. Let's go check out his card and see what his stats are. Taking a look at his stats, the one big factor I saw on him was the 5'7". Like I said, he plays really good because he's really short. But you see the 95 speed, 97 excel, 93 agility is pretty good. The one thing that's killing me on this card is the 88 carrying. But I do normally play in conservative. I don't think that's going to be the biggest factor. 84 catching is really good. 92 COD, even without sprinter at a 94, that is very, very good. Pretty good break tackle as well. Just an all-around very, very solid card. I think this card could be very good. Let's head into a game and let's see if we can get this guy going. We also do have backfield mismatch on him and jukebox on him. Let's see if we can get those going as well. Let's get right into it. We did actually have a huge problem with this recording. I recorded it without my mic on and I had no clue until the end. So we recorded three of the brand new house rules gameplay with it. We did have a great gameplay. So I'm basically just going to commentate right back over. You see, we start this full gameplay. He played amazing for us the whole day like I thought he would. We did just, it started off amazing as you can see right here. A big chunk of yards. He really did just kind of cut through everything. If the quality is a little lower, it's because I am playing it through the video player on Windows PC. But the one thing that does stand out about him, like I said in the beginning, is that height. He got through under my, un like if you look at the linemen, how they're blocking and extended like this, he got through underneath them every single time. And it honestly felt amazing. But the first game, we were just running all over this guy. I'm pretty sure we do get the pass involved a little bit. We try to switch it up a tiny bit here. Let's see if I can up move it a little faster. Yeah, you can see me in the video talking about how we were uh, running the ball. But as you can see, just him running over defensive linemen. That was actually Deion Jones we just ran over there. He just played amazing. Like, I don't even know what to say. We just kept going with the uh, – we kept running a stretch on him, a trap on him. As you can see, we're going to go over here to the Texas angle route. And this route was killing with him with backfield mismatch. Seemed like he was wide open every single time I ran this. As you see right here, we're going to dump it down. He is using the D lineman. He actually went under our, un, our, under our lineman's arms. I can't even talk. To get under and get wide open for that pass. It's just a great car. I, I, don't, I keep saying that, but – he look you could see he literally went under our left tackles arms Toronto arms said we we're gonna be running I think a wheel out here it does not get open sadly but it like I said it is it was a great gameplay I had a lot of fun with it like I think this guy because he's under 150k he could be on a lot of budget teams just because how good his price is he really is gonna be he's gonna be a little more expensive the first day because he goes in that Tyree kill set which is gonna be a killer set for a little bit because if you guys did not know, they do have a 99 Super Bowl champion, or not Super Bowl champion, but Super Bowl MVP card set now that you could do. So you put Tyreek Hill in there, Namath, William Perry, and also the Ndamukong Sioux card to get a free 99 Super Bowl MVP one that does come out. So to build Tyreek, who is the most expensive one in there, you do need the Clyde. So I think Clyde's going to be a tiny bit more expensive for that. But in a couple days, he'll for sure go down. I just think that set could be very profitable and could be a very good one. As you can see, we're just completely dominating right here. This is the first time we actually had a negative yardage with that Clyde. And honestly, that might be the only time we had a negative yardage gain with Clyde the whole gameplay. Like I said, if you're looking at this video to see if you really, really do want this Clyde, I think he is one of the better running backs in the game. I think I'd put him... Like, at true runner, I wouldn't say just because he's an elusive back, you couldn't really put him there. As we low pass him there, and he's showing us that, even in the passing game, is insane. The AP system with him, he's not a receiving back, so he doesn't get the one AP, all of that. But if you have hot route master, that doesn't really matter. So I truly think this guy could be very, very good, even in a non-theme team. In a theme team, I think he's a top five running back because of how good he plays. And as you can see, he plays like a big boy, even at that height. He trucks everybody for a big gain there. But anyways, let's head into the next game and let's commentate over the next one.
In this next game, we did actually have a big interception with Marcus Williams on defense. I'm trying to move this bar underneath, but I don't think I can. I have no clue why it's staying there. But as you guys can see, we are just going to keep going back to the stretch. We do have three points because this was house rules. So every three points, I'm pretty sure, is an interception or a fumble. And a 30-yard touchdown is 15 points. I think those are the only rules that are new to this mode. But... Like I said, house rules really is the best way to do gameplays because I can get the most offensive, like, just highlighted on that one player. I really want to do a Mike Evans gameplay later, depending on how high his price is. We might get that. As we kill a DK Metcalf to the outside right there, I know, straight, just run to the edge. He just, he just plays a lot faster than other guys. I think it does have to do with the speed as well. He does have that 97 Excel, which you don't see on a lot of running backs. Although he only has 95 speed on our team, He's still super solid. But anyways, the Chiefs team team, this could be one that a lot of people can look forward to now. Or the Bucks, because they got so many cards. So many 93 pluses. Even, like, there's there's plenty of 95s. Tristan Wurst got a card for another rookie premiere. There are two rookie premieres in this uh, inside of the Super Bowl that got big upgrades. A 94 and a 95. This, like, this Clyde is going to be on a lot of people's team because he is free. And he is going to be easily a lot of starters for a lot of people. So I think might as well utilize him. I am showing you guys in this gameplay that we did win three straight games with him. He played great for us. Even in the passing game, even if you're a heavy passer, I truly think this Clyde can easily, easily be one of the best in the game. Although he doesn't get the AP, it's really because his height, like I said, like, although in the passing game you do want a bigger guy, it doesn't really affect him. Like, if most of you guys know, Kamara is not the tallest running back either, and he's still considered the best running back and passing back in the game. So, that's the same way I look at Clyde. He's basically a Kamara kind of guy, but without, like, the receiving back archetype placed on his card. But, like, his speed's a little lower. He's kind of like a budget Kamara, if that makes sense. That's really where I'd place him. I think he is... Like I said, I have high hopes for this card. I really told you guys, I, this was one of the best cards I've had a gameplay on. You can see he's even, this guy is so focused on my 95 Clyde, which is insane to have a guy just completely focused on him like that. But we're going to go for this first down. We do actually get a huge animation here, but this is the one negative about him. You'll see right here, we do get a reach for it with him, but he does not get the first down. I think it does have to do with the height. That might be the one negative with him. We are fourth in inches now. I don't think we got it. it. might be because we were playing against the DK. I think it really did have to do with height. But we're going to go with a trap call here to try to punch it in to get the first down. He actually has the worst defense right here for a trap. And we're just going to go straight through the middle for an easy, easy touchdown. Just another easy touchdown for the boys. Honestly, this like I said, this Clyde is amazing. We're going to hop into the third game. This guy does end up quitting as well. I want to see if we can get this Clyde going again. Like I said, I did record this already, so I already know what he does. Let's get right into it. So in the third game, we did start off with the run again. Like, it's just, we just got to keep pushing it. This guy also did have a lot better run defense. We did have to try to switch it up a little bit on him. We were running counters, traps, everything. He really was stopping most of it. The stretch kind of, if you know how to stop a stretch, you're going to stop a stretch this year. It's not like last year where you can just spam it every time. They actually kind of have nerfs for it. So as you can see, we only get three to four yards there on the first two runs. Yeah, we only get four yards total in the first two runs. That was not looking good. We actually do go to the passing game next. I think this guy was a D-line user as well. The one thing about house rules, you don't really play the same people in the same caliber of play style as you. Like, you're not going to be playing people in Legend if you're in Legend all the time. It's kind of unfair for people like this, but at the end of the day, it's great for me in gameplay. We're going to get a wide open Darren Waller here. You can see I could have easily probably scored there, but we did try to like try to go down so we can get a big play going here in the end or something like that. But I tried to get I didn't want to score there so we can get Clyde some more touches, basically is what I'm saying. But the one thing also if you guys could see, you guys been watching my gameplays, you know I've had Aaron Rodgers for the longest time. I did actually get a gameplay as we're lagging in the middle of the gameplay. We actually did get a giveaway on this Phillip Rivers from somebody. So this Phillip Rivers has been amazing for us. We're going to get a big spin move from Clyde there to end the game on this guy and get a 15-point touchdown on him. That was huge. A great way to start the drive. He actually does end up quitting after this. So this was a great gameplay. Like I said, this is a good budget guy I would definitely recommend on a lot of people's teams. 
He's gonna be just wait a couple days if you're very value or you're very worried about the price being at 150k at 130ish k. It's it's probably gonna go down because 95s are around 100k right now. So I'd probably be patient on him. Don't do what I did. I just did it so he can get, do it for gameplay purposes. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, sorry for the quality. We did have to re-record. I accidentally recorded without my mic. But anyways, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let's hop into the next video. I'll see you guys then. Peace out, boys.